I think I've had a little bit too much bang today, but that's kind of why I'm doing this video because I've had too much bang. I've been wanting to do this drink probably before Valentine's Day, but I just wasn't able to do it because I've just been XYZ, it doesn't matter. We are going to make a Peace, Love, and Harmony from Sugar Factory. I'm wearing my name tag. Yes, I'm sporting it. Don't worry, Sugar, I got you. I don't think I'm supposed to tell people this. But actually, uh, I would modify the drink because it didn't taste that great what it was. So I would just kind of shift it a little bit. I'm not gonna say modify, but I would just shift it, you know, maybe add a little more, take a little less back. I try to make things that are very simple and affordable because I'm not trying to like make you go out and get a Casa Azul bottle, even though that's good on its own. If you get that, just get that. Don't add lime to it. Don't do all this weird stuff to Casa Azul. Please don't do that. I'll be like the Gordon Ramsay of tequila. Like, please don't do that, okay? Stop it. No. I'll behave. This is a well-balanced cocktail. So you do want to have a very good tequila because the only liquor you have in this drink is a tequila. This is Don Julio Blanco. I'd also recommend like Patron a Rose Syrup. This I specially ordered. I got a big one because I really like this syrup. Got club soda, again, to just kind of minimize sweetness. Glass. You need your hibiscus flowers. This is mainly for the garnish. I have a guava juice here. This is from Whole Foods. I actually use this in my smoothies sometimes. These two are mainly for color purposes. This is necessary in the drink, a rose syrup. And this is good in a lot of drinks. So I do recommend you guys do buy this. And of course you have your jigger so you can measure everything out, but I probably won't be doing much of that. We're just gonna jump right in. So we need a shaker for this because you wanna get all the flavors incorporated very well. So I'm just using my regular shaker. I think these are really essential if you're gonna have a bar as far as doing your pour, especially if you're just doing shots or if you just want to like come home and just do a real quick drink, you know, you can pour out of the bottle of course, but these are just really official. We got Don Julio Blanco over here. We got back together. <laughs> I was on a dry January and we're like mid-February. I've been doing really good. Keep the tequila chilled in the freezer, okay? Warm tequila is not the best. I like this kind of glass. It's like a wine bulbous glass. I recommend this. We're gonna go ahead and pop some ice in there right away. You can also pop ice after uh, because you just want fresh ice. Ice in our shaker because we wanna shake it with ice. We want it to incorporate a chill. Two and a half ounces. After you do your two and a half ounces of tequila, you wanna go ahead and add your rose syrup. You're gonna do about an ounce to an ounce and a quarter of this. It smells so good. I don't really like fake tasting anything and this, this is just very good quality. Monin is the best for syrups. They don't sell it at Bevmo, unfortunately, so you have to go online and get it, but it's worth it. It's worth it, especially if you're gonna be making drinks at home or for friends or parties. You wanna get a good brand, okay? And keep the bottle clean because if you don't, you're gonna get like little bugs and ain't nobody trying to clean that up. Okay, after that, you're gonna wanna do a lime. So here's your cutting board right here. Grab a lime. And I'm probably gonna use an entire lime. If you are gonna be making a lot of these, you wanna have some lime juice already prepped. I would say fresh lime juice. I have the concentrate. I don't recommend it, it's not my favorite. I'm just gonna squeeze it. I mean, my hands are clean, so. Squeeze, oh yes, that was nice. Then we're gonna add just the littlest bit of guava juice, just a little bit, like a little splash. I love this, it's so good, just like that much. Do you see how much that was? It was like just a little pinch. You know, bartending, I would say less is more because if you put too much of something, like the drink is ruined and you, you just wasted your alcohol, honestly. And then you can just shake it. Grab your glass with the ice in there. I don't have a lot of ice in there because you want the drink to really stand out and not the ice. So you don't want the ice filled all the way to the top and then you have your drink down here. That's not very good. You just want a little bit of ice and you want the drink to kind of hit the middle. If you want to add 
a little bit of either this hibiscus syrup for color, you can, or you can also put some cranberry juice, cranberry juice with this drink. Very, very good. Again, you could also put simple syrup in here to make it sweeter. I don't like sweet drinks, so I'm not gonna do that, but I know a lot of you guys do, so I'm gonna let you guys know. For a garnish, you're gonna go ahead and grab a stick like this. I'm all about presentation, so we're just gonna do two. Okay, you just wanna sit them next to each other like that. One of them is kind of dying a little bit. The other one's like a lot more full. Make sure you get it looking presentable. So yeah, that's a lot better now. See how pretty that looks? And you're gonna sit it on top of the drink like that. This is gonna stain. I don't wanna stain the towel, so think twice. I'm going to add just a little bit of soda water. So I have that here, and that's just to give it a little, Oh, okay. <laughs> that was gonna explode. Oh, it was, okay. I just like soda water a lot. So I'm gonna do that. Cheers, there you go. That is the Peace of Harmony. Of course, you're not gonna eat these, okay? This is just for show. Yeah, that is very, very, very good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. So I would say if you want it sweeter, you can. I actually think this is like borderline too sweet and it's not even that sweet. In general, I just think it's really well balanced. It's very, very easy to drink this drink and I do recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed, okay? I love making cocktail videos. March is coming up, so I definitely wanna have a green drink for March. This is February, so of course we gotta put some peace, love, and harmony up in that. I'm gonna take this off, I don't even, sorry, sugar. But yeah, this was me, Brie Brie, RIP. No, I'm kidding. Please subscribe to this channel, okay? Please subscribe and comment if you have anything to say or if you like rose or if you hate rose or if you have any questions about modifications on the drink i'm down to answer it's still february so i have a couple more things coming out and march i definitely want to start talking a lot about just general health things that have to do with skin hair um, teeth uh, anything related to health holistic health being sick covid anything like that. So it's coming. I can't wait to talk about it. <laughs>